Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm Mary. I post fashion, beauty, and health and wellness videos, and I'm gonna start off today's vlog with a little grocery haul action. I just got a few things, not much, but a few, oh, hello. A few things from Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, and Chicago Raw, which is like a vegan raw little like shop that's by Whole Foods where I live. Um, so yeah, I figured I would show you. I did like a bunch of meal prep last night. Happy Monday, by the way. This is gonna be a few days in the day. But I did a bunch of meal prep last night and so I didn't really need much. But yesterday when we went to Trader Joe's, they didn't have any good looking flowers. So I just picked up some flowers. And then Whole Foods has been out of broccoli because they had a sale on broccoli. So I picked up a lot of broccoli. We love having broccoli. Um, like it's one of our favorite little foods to me. Um, so I picked up a lot of broccoli for the week. And then I got some celery for juices. I get the organic celery from Whole Foods for my juices. Oh shoot, I needed to get fennel on. I didn't pick it up. That's okay. Um, so, yeah. And then I just got some organic cauliflower from Trader Joe's. Um, for, uh, I like to make roasted cauliflower. I like literally always have it in our fridge. We eat it for dinner or on salads for lunch. Really just like for anything. I just absolutely love it. So that's what we got from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Oh, that was loud. And then from Chicago Raw, I picked up this vegan Caesar. It looks so good. Olive oil, garlic, lemon, um, dulce, which is seaweed, and sea salt. I'm gonna smell that. Oh, it has oh. I just got some everywhere. But I figured this would be really, really nice to put on salads, um, either for lunch or dinner. I love Caesar, uh, and I could definitely make my own, but I just thought it was kind of a fun little find for the week to switch it up, like make a fun little kale Caesar, you know? Mm, it smells just like Caesar, so got that. And then I also got some of their microgreens. Um, this was a pretty big pack of them, and I feel like microgreens are usually in such a small pack, so yeah. That's what I got. I'm gonna make a green juice now. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a little haul before I put stuff away. I literally did not vlog yesterday because so one of our family friends who lives here in the city she does real estate and like flips homes so cool you guys what she does um so i actually met up with her she showed me one of the places that she's working on it was so fun we talked hung out for like three hours um and i just like asked her questions about career stuff like that it was really really fun so i was with her and then I ended up just coming home and going for, I ended up going for like an evening walk, which was so nice. But then I stopped at Trader Joe's and I kind of want to show you guys a little fall Trader Joe's haul because usually I would have showed you guys, but I was honestly FaceTiming Nat when I was putting everything away and I literally did not need any of this, but I still got it. So I got this pumpkin spice coffee, which I made pumpkin spice cold brew out of. So we're gonna try it today and see how it is. I'm really excited about it. It um, is just their medium dark roast, which is what I like. And it just has like, um, 
it's not organic, but it has orange peel, cinnamon, um, pumpkin spice, allspice, nutmeg, and vanilla bean in it. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. Fun. Fall. I got some of their well-rested herbal tea, mostly because I usually do, um, if I do like a sleep tea, I do um, Cup of Calm by, I think it's by Traditional Medicinals, but I didn't have any, so I was like, cool, I'll just give this one a try. It's not as good as Cup of Calm, honestly. And then, I have been really into black garlic lately, um, and they had dried black garlic, so I picked up some of that, but I think fresh, like if you're looking for super just like healthy the fresh is the best way to go but I figured I would still give the dry to try just for fun for like I figured it'd be really good in salad dressings like I just make such simple salad dressings with like olive oil salt pepper I'll do like a little bit of that black garlic maybe some red pepper flakes I know that sounds random but I like it so okay I don't know if this is steeped long enough so I think I do. Oh my god. Yeah. With a little bit of half and half and some milk. Oh, you guys. How exciting. Um, I also want to say, and I know this um, is a little bit like later because technically this video went up probably a week ago now, um, but the overwhelming amount of positive and like genuine messages, feedback, everything that I got from my video where I talked about getting COVID and quitting my job, I literally, it brought me to tears. Um, I'm really, really grateful for all of you guys. And like, seriously, like this community, like I freaking love it. Like, I'm not even kidding you. You guys, like literally you can tell I'm like about to freaking cry because the messages were so kind and like so, so many people who are in a similar position reached out and I just like didn't know that other people were feeling that way and honestly like I'm just grateful and like the universe has a plan for each and every one of us and like it's not always as linear as like going to college, graduating college, getting a perfect job or like going to college, going to med school, becoming a doctor, you know, like it's not always like that but that doesn't mean that it's not perfect in its own way. So, yeah, let's pour this coffee now. <laughs> Guys, I've been loving coffee. Always, but especially lately. <laughs> I just finished my workout. Um, I just did. Oh, sorry, I need some water. I just did like just under 30 minutes of Tasha Franken. Um, I do Tasha like pretty much every morning. And I try not to like, honestly, here's the deal. I think working out and eating clean and everything is all about finding what works for you and like a lifestyle that you love. And so for me, I'm all about consistency. So like I, and I used to not be this way. Like I used to take that mentality where it was like five days a week, like go super hard. And then two days a week, like don't do anything. And like, now I'm like, I just realized that I like low intensity movement so much better than anything high intensity. And like, that doesn't mean I won't go to a sculpt class every once in a while. Like depending on how I'm feeling today, I have this pass at this place called Yoga 2.0 and I kind of want to go to a class tonight. Um, so that's why I did like a, like no equipment, like more low, like super low intensity class this morning. Um, and because I was like, okay, well maybe like 
tonight if I'm feeling good, I'll go to a Sculpt at Yoga 2.0. But like for me, now I know like in Sculpt classes when they do high intensity cardio, I do low intensity cardio because that's what feels good in my body. And when um, they use weights, I actually just bring my ball of angles because that's what works for me. And like different things work for different people. And I feel like it's so easy for us to like make these oh my god you guys you need to make this cold brew it's so good but make these blanket statements about like being healthy and being like the right kind of healthy where like for example right now my best friend natalie she is doing crossfit and she looks amazing she and more important than that she feels amazing like she is oops loving it and like for me, I've done a few CrossFit classes, hated it. It wasn't for me. But like different strokes for different folks. And I think we need to stop, not we, but like everyone like needs to stop just like being so offended when people have different opinions on us. Sorry, that was like, <laughs> that like went from zero to 100 real quick. But I don't know. I just feel like I literally wake up every morning I was telling my mom this and I was like I'm mom I literally wake up every morning so excited to do obviously like my morning routine but do my Tasha Franken workout like I love it it makes me feel so good like I tend to wake up a little bit anxious and it completely just like takes that right away and gives me energy makes me feel excited for my day and I'm not kidding you some days it's only 10 minutes like some days I'll literally do 10 minutes. Some days I'll do 30 minutes. Some days I'll do 40. Um, it really is just like dependent on how I'm feeling. And so try different things, listen to your body, and like you'll figure out what works for you. Hi guys, I just got home from the farmer's market and I wanted to do a nice little grocery haul because I got some new stuff that I wouldn't normally get. So always bring a Lulu bag. It makes things so much easier. Um, First, this is not new. I always get this. I got some Swiss chard. I love rainbow chard. I saute it um, with spinach, which I'll get to in a second. And it's so good, like spinach, garlic, um, chard, sometimes mushrooms you can throw in there. It's just a really nice switch up and I think it's so nutritionally dense and beneficial and I just think it's so pretty too. I just, I've always loved a good rainbow char moment. So I got some of that. I never really get things in bags unless they have them in them already because I just put them in my produce bags when I get back, which I guess I could just bring my produce bags with me. Maybe I'll do that next time. Then, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. You guys, I got spinach. I've never gotten spinach at the farmer's market, but this is what it looks like. It's like fresh spinach, and I'm so excited to make a spinach salad with it tonight because I can tell it's just gonna be delicious. Like, so good, so hearty, like some good iron for me. Bam. Then, uh, I got, some green beans, just a few, not many, just a few little green beans for, to keep raw and put in salads actually. I love green beans and so does Blake. So I saw them and they looked really good so I figured I'd pick them up. Okay, these I'm so excited about. It's a mixture between kale and Brussels sprouts. I forget what they're called, but I'm gonna roast them tonight and I think they're gonna be insane. Um, I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm gonna roast them with like a little bit of um, I think I'm gonna do just olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of black garlic. So, love that. Then I got kale. This kale is not for me, it's for Blake. He is like obsessed with kale and has it on his salad every day. I hate kale, so I don't really eat it, but yeah. Sometimes I'll saute it, but other than that, yeah. And then this is, uh, Cauliflower. They had fresh cauliflower, so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get some. It's fun. And then I also got mushrooms. Always get mushrooms from the farmer's market because we have this mushroom stand that we love. Um, so I grabbed both some Baby Bella 
and some white butter. So that's what I got. There's a little farmer's market haul for you guys. Hey guys, I'm relaxing a little bit. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go to a flow class at 5.30 at um, Yoga 2.0. I thought it was a, um, sorry, I have Blake's laundry that I just did and folded, but um, I ended up leaving that there and then have that and then wanted to show you guys. I ended up taking the moss out of there and putting the pine cones in that. Just for a fun little fall touch. But anyways, I'm going to call my sister and relax for a little bit. I thought that the class at Yoga 2.0 was a sculpt class and so, oh, it's work before it. And so I was like, I don't know if I want to go. But then I saw that it was a flow and so I'm so into it. So I'm just gonna call my sister, do some computer work and then head to yoga. Stuff. Oh, yeah. But Guys, these things are called killettes. He convinced me to get them at the farmer's market. They look disgusting in this clip, but they're little mini kales. Try it. And they taste like kind of like Brussels sprouts. Pretty good. Right? Mm -hmm. It's your girl, Mary, editing. Forgot to end this video. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, the kale were really good. I'm not gonna lie. They taste like, like a mixture between kale and Brussels sprouts and they're so good. We love them now. So, probably gonna get more at the farmer's market on Saturday. Sorry this video was so full of hauls. When I was editing it, I was, I literally took out a, a grocery haul because I was like, okay, this is aggressive. Like, I think there's five grocery hauls within the video, but I've been on my cooking grind lately. So, yeah, yesterday I actually, I was gonna film, but then I was talking to my mom. I made, the, this is yesterday that I filmed all this, but I made like a fennel, um, and cabbage slaw. It was really good. And then, yeah, I've been obsessed with making that pumpkin cold brew, lots of roasted squash, roasted fall veggies. You guys know the drill. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button below, follow me on Instagram. It is always linked down below. Also, I have been loving TikTok lately, so you should follow me on TikTok as well. It's always linked down below. Um, but thank you guys again. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye, guys.